Hi, I'm Slavik Janicki with iDrinkCoffee.com. Today I'm going to be doing a demonstration on how to descale a single boiler machine. Descaling is probably the single most important part of maintaining your machine. Scale buildup is the single biggest cause of damage to machines and a lot of the times the damage is very difficult to repair and also very costly and it's also not covered under your manufacturer's warranty. So it's very important to descale your machine on a regular basis. We typically suggest descaling at least four times a year or more often if you have particularly hard water. I'm going to be using the Ranchilio Silvio which is the most common single boiler machine but the steps that I take can be used on any single boiler. Okay so the first step is going to be preparing your descaling solution. I'm going to be using Ernex Descal and if you bought your machine from us you'll already have this because we include this as part of our bonus package for every espresso machine that we sell. You take one packet, there's actually four packets in the box, you take one of these and mix it with one liter of water. Now I've already prepared a liter of water so I'm just going to open this up. I'll pick that up later. I'm going to mix it into a liter of water and just give it a good mix. You want it to be all mixed in, you don't want it to be granular. So now I've got my solution nice and mixed up. I'm just going to add it into the boiler. I beg your pardon, I'm actually going to be adding it into the tank. Adding it into the boiler is the next step. Okay, so the next step will be to replace the water that's already inside your boiler with the descaling solution. We can do this in one of two ways. You can do it either through the steam wand or through the group. Now this machine, the Ranchilio Silvia, has the ability to, to uh, dispense water through the steam wand, so that's what I'm going to use. If your machine doesn't have that, then just do it through the group. So, I'm just going to open my valve here, and turn on my water button. The Ranchilio has a 325 milliliter boiler, so that's the amount of water that I'm going to dis displace. Which is roughly about 12-13 ounces of water. Now once that's complete, I'm actually going to run a little bit of water through the group as well, uh, just to descale those lines as well. So again, I'm going to remove my portafilter. It's not needed for any of these steps. And I'm going to run some water through the group as well. Okay, so now we have the acid inside the boiler. We've worked really hard, so we're going to take a break, go for an espresso, let the acid do its work, and we'll come back in one hour. Okay, so I'm going to turn my machine back on because I it suggests leaving the machine off while the acid is doing its work inside the boiler. The next step will be to rinse the acid out of the boiler. So in order to do that, what I've done is I've refilled my water tank with fresh water. Now, I'm going to run at least two full tanks of water through the boilers. After, uh, after I've done that, I can taste the water coming out, and if it's still sour, then I'll keep rinsing. This is why it's important to use a proper descaling product, like Ernex or Durgle Swiss Espresso, because they're food-safe acids. You can't use anything like CLR, which is a poison, and you don't want to be ingesting it. Customers will often ask about vinegar. I also don't recommend using vinegar for two reasons. First, it stinks. It's going to affect the taste of your coffee. And second, it's not a very powerful acid, so it doesn't do that great of a job. So, again, to rinse it out, exact same steps, very simple. I'll open up my steam wand, and I'll just run the water through. And you let at least three liters of water run through. Now I just want to show you what's coming out of the machine. It's very normal for the liquid coming out to be a, a light blue, bluish green color, and that's just the calcium and, and the uh, lime scale being dissolved. You may get small chunks of white, that's again calcium. So don't be alarmed, we want to keep rinsing until that's a clear color. Don't forget to also rinse the group, so uh, run, run some water through the group as well. And again, you just want to keep doing this until the water is nice and clean. Now, I was lucky enough to be able to have an espresso on our break because we've got a store full of espresso machines. But this machine is now ready uh, to make coffee once again. It's been descaled. Now, like I had mentioned, we recommend descaling at least four times a year to keep your machine running in tip-top shape. 
if you don't have a steam wand on your machine, the process is the same. You just run all of the water through the group. If you have any questions, feel free to contact uh, either myself or any one of my colleagues, and we're more than happy to help. Thanks for watching, and here's to good times and good brews.